Give me your D, give me your G, give me an X, 6, 7, D. Well, give me your D, give me your G, give me an X, 6, 7, D. Mm. The DGX has got everything that I need. Over 800 voices and styles Well, can't you see? Microphone An input with effects Just some of the reasons I love my DGX It's got a color screen So very crisp and clean Wireless Bluetooth Gotta raise the roof 256 notes of polyphony, yeah How about just the rhythm section? Mm. Thank you so much. DJ X, Ow, 67D. Wow, DJ X, it's got everything I need. Whether you are a professional musician or a hobbyist or an enthusiast or somewhere in between, all are welcome. I'd like to say, music is life. The Yamaha DGX670 Portable Grand Digital Piano is brand new, and just about everything in this keyboard is new, and we're going to go over all of it. But quickly, I want to go back in time to 1887. This was when Yamaha was founded. And if you didn't know this, it all started with music. Tarakasu Yamaha built a reed organ, and the rest is history. Little did he know that over 130 years later, Yamaha would go on to become the world's largest manufacturer of musical instruments. Actually, one out of every four instruments sold in the world is a Yamaha now, the DGX has quite a prestigious legacy itself. It's almost 20 years old, and we've had a number of iterations of DGX. But every once in a while, we re-examine a category. And even though every single instrument we produce, whether it's a horn or a keyboard or a guitar, we always take it to the next level. We always bring our best. But every once in a while, we re-examine a category, and we reimagine it, we redesign it from the ground up, and the DGX 670 is a lucky winner this time. I don't even recognize you anymore, DGX. So much, so many new features, but let's just start going down the list. Color screen, so very crisp and clean. This is your dashboard to DGX. A lot of pertinent information in here. What voices you have select, uh, style selection. You see my microphone gain is up here. Transpose, your tempo, MIDI song, audio song, and more. We've got registration memories. This is probably the ultimate universal save system because you can save something as simple as a, as a one instrument or you can save a complex snapshot of styles. So that's awesome to have in DGX. Robust style control section. What about touch and tone? Well, that's what makes the DGX so awesome. 88 weighted graded keys as you'd expect from Yamaha. It's just buttery smooth to play. And the tones are amazing. There's over 600 instrument voices in this keyboard now, and 49 of them are the coveted super articulation voices. These are some of the most expressive and humanistic voices in the Yamaha keyboard realm. We have microphone input with effects, which is awesome. As a singer-songwriter, I use this quite a bit. And the effects are phenomenal. In the mic setting page, there's a three-band EQ and a compressor and a noise gate. Great for a professional vocalist or hobbyist or amateur vocalist as well. We also have the ability to record a WAV file directly to a thumb drive in real time. So I could be singing and playing a style, and it'll all get recorded as a CD-quality WAV file in real time. 
We have wireless Bluetooth connectivity for the first time on a DGX. So you can stream wireless audio to the speakers of your DGX 670. You see those white woofers right there? That's a badge of honor for Yamaha. Vertical integration. We borrow technologies from other divisions of Yamaha. In this case, Pro Audio. Thank you so much, Pro Audio. Great computer connectivity. Who is this keyboard for, though? We've got a lot of features. Well, I'm happy to say if you're a live musician, we have really dialed this in for live players. Look, some of the buttons have uh, backlit uh, lights right there. I think it's safe to say that, uh, you know, the buttons are lit. <laughs> and we also have, um, for a live musician, uh, a fantastic workflow because we've really streamlined. Buttons like the direct access button take you to an assignable screen just by holding it down and hitting any button or pedal. That's awesome. Voice effect button if you want to turn your effects on and off. We have a simple button now which just strips out all the accompaniment in a style and leaves you with the, with the rhythm section, with the drums and bass. A lot of new buttons, a lot of new features, but also... For the home, of course, we have an optional L300, a beautiful stand for the DJX. It comes in white or black. And when you get that, you can add the optional LP1 three-pedal unit. We upgraded it recently. It's got metal pedals. They come down the back. So it's beautiful for the home. It's very easy to take out live. It's under 50 pounds. And there are a plethora of other features. There's a lot of depth on this keyboard. Let, let's jump into it. So let's say you're cruising around some of the depth of DGX, right? And there is depth. We like to say that uh, keyboard users can either do some snorkeling or they can do some scuba diving. And in, in the DGX's case, you can do both. But let's say you're cruising around and you just want to play piano. I just want to play piano. Well, we made a grand piano-shaped button called Piano Room. Boom, no matter where you are, you can go into Piano Room. The best part is that we disable almost all the buttons. We leave the metronome, because that could come in handy. And right here on the concert hall stage, you see our coveted CFX 9-foot concert grand piano. and beautiful and I have a special surprise for you another new addition to DGX the pianos are now using virtual resonance modeling now in an acoustic grand piano there are naturally occurring resonances like the string resonance the body resonance and the damper resonance sympathetic resonances harmonic overtones we always used to sample these behaviors in the pianos and DGX take a snapshot of them but now Virtual resonance modeling is generating these harmonics and these overtones in real time. Mathematical algorithms. This is a feature that previously you'd have to get a higher end Yamaha digital piano to get these naturally occurring resonances using VRM. But they're now in the DGX 670. There's also different pianos. So here's a beautiful punchy pop grand that we have. And I can take the pianos and put them in different environments. So I'm on a concert hall stage. What if I want to go to a cathedral and hear what a pop grand sounds like in a cathedral? Oh, hello. And it also changes the reverb on my vocal to match the environment, which I think is really, really cool. And I can open and close the lid, which can be a lot of fun. It changes the tonality in real time. Very cool. Now, I want to take this opportunity while we're in Piano Room to show you how quick and easy it is to record in Piano Room with a little surprise at the end. So I'm going to record a quick little something. Now, 
Now I can either choose to re-record or save it. I'm going to choose to save it. And then we're going to get out of Piano Room. And I'm going to go into my song selection here. And I'm going to grab that song. It's in the Piano Room folder. Very easy to find. And it's new song 10. You can always rename these songs if you want. But check this out. Here is the score display. This is what I just recorded. Very cool. Okay, so this next part of the presentation is one of my favorites. I get to demonstrate for you some of the amazing super articulation voices. First time making their way into a DGX. Now, what is a super articulation voice? Well, super articulation voices are some of the finest, most expressive and dynamic instrument voices that exist within the Yamaha keyboard realm. And besides being incredibly fun, and dynamic and expressive to play, you can trigger humanistic articulations either from the keyboard or you can assign to trigger them from a pedal or pedals. Now, these articulations include, but are definitely not limited to, let's say the finger sliding off the strings and frets of an acoustic guitar or the tapping on the body of a guitar or a, a switch on a rotary organ or let's say, um, ooh, the breath that a brass or a reed player takes before he hits a note. These are articulations. So enjoy these. All the, the four voices I'm going to demo are all super articulation. I'm going to start with this beautiful jazz rotary organ, and I'm going to accompany my voice demo with some style playing just to dip our toe into some style playing and give you a larger glimpse of what's capable with a DGX 670. Enjoy. So that can be a lot of fun to play. I was triggering the Leslie with the left pedal of my optional LP13 pedal unit, just FYI. Moving on, this is one of my favorite super articulation voices. This is a beautiful nylon concert guitar. That's not the door. That's me triggering yet another articulation, this time using the middle pedal of my LP1. Okay, next up is a super articulation saxophone. This is a beautiful, beautiful uh, super articulation voice. Ooh, just give me a second. No, I'm not out of breath. I'm triggering yet another articulation. And that is the breath before you play the sax. All right, here we go. Beautiful. And now the last super articulation voice I would like to feature are these beautiful studio strings. Ooh. 
Let's hear it with a style, shall we? Having some fun with that pitch band wheel right there. All right, who's ready to do some style playing? I'm ready to do some style playing. Now, if you're wondering, what is style playing or what is a style? I'm not talking about the latest fad or what the kids are wearing these days. I'm talking about Yamaha styles. These are genres of music, pop and rock, ballad, dance and R&B, Latin and world, reggae, standards, jazz, country and blues, dance and R&B. There are so many different styles, over 250 styles. You pick a style, you play a chord, the DGX brings in the band, and you become a virtual band leader. And that's where the style control section really comes in handy. It's part of the backbone of style playing for DGX. Let me break it down for you. We have an intro. We have an ending. We have four main variation parts. These mimic the parts of a song or most songs, A section, B section, C and D sections, A could be the verse, you know, B could be the second verse, C could be the chorus or the bridge, however you want to do it. Probably one of the most important buttons in the style control section is the accompaniment button, because if this is not lit or engaged, you will only hear the drums and percussion of a style. When it is lit, you will hear all the instrumentation come in unless you've chosen to take out some instrumentation. And then new to DGX, it's also... Very important to note, the simple button has made its first appearance in the style control section on a DGX. When this is engaged, it strips out all the instrumentation except the drums and the bass or the rhythm section, which is very cool. Now, I cannot talk about style playing and style control without talking about fingering types because they work hand in hand. Now, fingering types is how the DGX recognizes your chordal or single finger input. So if you're a beginner player, you might want to set it to single finger. You can play one note and the DGX will create a chord for you. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Or if you're a more proficient player, AI fingered. This is the most advanced fingering mode in here where you can play, if you have deeper knowledge of theory, you can play a three finger chord Okay, a three-note chord with only two fingers. You just need to play the root and the third. And more complex jazz chords using three or four fingers. But we're going to get into that. Now, the latest member of the AI family, I'm sorry, the latest member of the fingering family is smart chord. Now, like single finger, it uses one finger, but where it gets really interesting is that you can select the type of music that you're playing. So I have a jazz style selected as the first style I'm going to demonstrate. We pick jazz, and it'll play jazzy chords. You can even get more specific with what key signature you want to put it in. And lastly, a little bow on the top before I start playing, is this is a brand new style to DJX. This is a unison style. Unison can be engaged from the front panel, or it can be engaged and assigned to a pedal. And when you bring it in, it takes multiple members of the instrumentation. They play a melody line in unison, which is really cool for doing solo stuff. Enough talk. Let's do some smart chord playing with unison style. It does with D. Ooh, D minor seven nine. One finger. E. E minor seven. Not bad. Ooh, F six nine. Very jazzy. Now unison. I'm gonna bring that in and listen what happens.
hear the accents so I can trigger accents too by just playing a little harder velocity. I like that F. More unison. Yeah. So that is brand new smart chord fingering type unison style instrumental jazz let's move on now this is an adaptive style this is a new style the dgx and basically i'm gonna take you in here and show you that what an adaptive style is is that instead of having to reach up to change the sections of a style in real time okay it will basically change the sections based on velocity so how hard i play and i pulled up a country style here um this is actually really great for a vocalist like myself. If I don't want to be reaching up to play when I'm playing live, I can just rely on velocity. Check this out. Let's say I want to go to B. I'm going to the bridge. I want to go to C. Awesome. That is an adaptive style. Now, in this next style, this is another unison style, uh, but I'm going to break down AI figured for you. Um, so basically, let me start this out here. This is a disco style, and I'm going to go into my mixer, which is super quick and easy. I'm going to pull down the style volume so you can hear me a little better. So in the screen, now bear in mind, we are in AI fingered, the most advanced fingering mode in here, C minor. I'm just playing the root and the third, okay? But let's try C major. Let's keep it simple, all right? There's the first and third. What if I wanna play a seventh? I just play the whole step below the root or a C major seventh. What if I wanna add the nine? Now what's cool about this is that it stays true to music theory, which is great. Because if you add the root in here in your mind, it all makes sense. Let's try a C minor seven nine. This is a three finger chord, which is so cool and it stays true to theory. I drop that B flat to an A and I'm playing F713. All right, let's bring this back up a little. Woo, yeah. Very cool. So that's a crash course in AI fingered, and it's helped me deepen my theory. Thank you, Yamaha. The last style that I want to go over is using the fingering type AI full keyboard. Now, AI full wasn't around. We've been making styles and style control for decades. And for a long time, you had to play below uh, a split point. So you play your chords down here, and then you would solo or, you know, play up here. But AI Full opened up the whole keyboard, so it actually accepts chordal input anywhere I play, which is great. Check this out.
anywhere I play. Sometimes clients ask me to write a song. Uh, Gabe, write me a jingle. Write me a country song. Hey, no problem. Go into the style section. Grab a country style that has a feel they're looking for. I play a style and do style control. And I sing with effects. And it all gets recorded right to the thumb drive in real time. And for this demo, I'm going to show you firsthand how to do this. I've pulled up a country style. It's actually one of the country styles that I used in the style portion of this presentation. USB audio is the magic button. I hit record, but this is record standby because I can now have a final opportunity to make sure my ducks are in a row. Am I missing anything? Ah, reverb on the vocal and we're ready to go. Let's do it. I love my DGX It's got everything I need I love my DGX It's the keyboard for me Ooh. Well, a nice little 34 second song Let's have a listen, listen to the quality Let's do it. Well, I love my DGX. It's got everything I need. That it does. So that's quick and easy. Stereo wave recording to a thumb drive. And the best part, boom, you can pull it out, put it in your laptop. You can share it with somebody. Ooh, I smell a hit. I'm just kidding. So speaking of songs, let's check out the song section of the DGX 670. Now, we threw in 100 great songs for you, and they're easy to access. You know, I'm feeling classically minded right now. So let's check out 50 of the greatest classical music masterpieces. Fur release, tugs at the heartstrings. I learned it as a child, and I know that many other aspiring Piano players will be learning it as well. Now, right into the score display with that crisp and clean color screen right there. It's easier to see than ever. We see the notes. Now, I can play it back as, it, as with the other 99 songs, kind of like a jukebox. But what if I'm a beginner and I want to learn how to play fur release? Well, it's as easy as engaging guide mode. Guide mode is a Yamaha exclusive feature and basically guide mode waits for you to play the correct note. It's cool. You can even select what hand you want to learn with, whether it's the right hand, the left hand, or both hands together. For simplicity's sake, since I'm supposed to be a beginner, I'm going to learn the right hand part with guide mode on. Here we go. So it's waiting for me to play the right note. See the red ball right there? I hit a clam, but the song is not progressing until I hit the right note. Cool. And if I disengage guide mode, now this is a great, great way to start learning songs that you love. And let's say out of those hundred songs that we throw in here for you, you want more. Well, it's time to talk about a great collaboration between Yamaha and and the world's largest publisher of sheet music and books. That would be Hal Leonard. We partnered up to create the online music store of the future. It's YamahaMusicSoft.com. Go there and browse through thousands of titles by popular artists like the Beatles and Alicia Keys and John Legend and Elton John, Bruno Mars. There's so many others. Fill up your cart, download them onto your thumb drive, Load them into the DJX, and you can take advantage of the score and guide capabilities, 
or just play them back. And if the file has lyrics, the lyrics will show up. Great for karaoke possibilities. Now, speaking of partnerships, I'd like to talk about another great partnership and collaboration uh, with a company called Flowkey. This is a third-party developer. And Yamaha, as you know, is very invested in global music education. So when a third party creates a piano teaching app, and then all of a sudden they have millions of users, people stand up and start to take notice. So it's called Flowkey, and there's some exclusive connectivity. When you connect it to a DGX 670, I'm going to show the app to you right now. <laughs> 